I grew up in South Africa. I moved there when I was three. I lived there till I was 21 when I came to England. My school life was never what I wanted it to be. I never really felt good enough. I always felt put on the fringe. When I started taking pictures, I quite quickly got affirmation for it and saw that there was something I was doing that I really enjoyed and that I was starting to excel at. I love this one. There isn't life without death and there isn't beauty without imperfection is the fact of life. The work bodies really hint strongly at that. It took me a long time to find a way to photograph naked flesh and for the subject of sexiness not to be on top of the pile with it. And the way I did that with that series is by painting people with the white marble dust. They became, became very sculptural. It's very beautiful, but also has this undercurrent of aloneness and quietness. It's really important that I'm not thinking of others when I work, that it really means something to me. That's all that I'm looking for. I'm not trying to be clever. I let the work happen and then start to rummage around and find out what it means to me. Starting with an agenda and then seeking out how you can satisfy that agenda has never been how I work. So a good example is the Yangtze. I would get up before dawn and walk or drive until the atmosphere just wouldn't be right or it might be and when it is then I would take my plate camera and expose some, some film. After two or three trips that I made, I started really understanding that I was stepping back. I was feeling an outsider. And people were becoming smaller and smaller in the frame. Every trip I made, it, it got easier because I knew what I was going for. But the beginning was hard because it was totally open. And it's the same with the estuary that I'm working on now. Ten years later, after my first trip to the Yangtze, I've started working here, but in that format. I'm feeling like I've really got something now with this latest batch. I'm trying to make nourishing, abstract work with the Thames Estuary. I'm at the stage where I'm printing the work and looking at colour and starting to see how it fits together, how a, how a room filled with them will feel. I do like to work as if I'm an outsider. I like that clarity that you see when you come from the outside to the inside. I, I certainly feel like a Londoner, but I'll never feel English. Making pictures is exploring one's own life. Understanding yourself more and more, which is what's exciting. If you boil down a picture to their abstract elements, you probably know more about me than anything else.